I just kind of take me through, you know, the spring. How, how do you feel like year two? I mean, just the continuity, just, you know, the kids kind of knowing where to be, what to expect, the speed. Do um, you feel like that things are starting to click, even maybe for some of those younger guys that didn't have a click for a year ago? Really, it really has. I mean, I think as a staff, we're all on the same page. Terminology we use offensively, defensively. We combine that all in special teams. Coach Hype, I mean, he's, shoot, he's in on every meeting. He's talking. He is so into the details. And that just carries over to our kids. Our kids have taken it to the next level. And so, again, it's, it's been a lot of fun, to be honest with you. With, with kickers and punters, you feel like they're more confident no question. I mean, we got guys who I feel are absolute pros. I mean, you talk about Chase, you talk about Paxton, Toby, these guys. I mean, the way they handle their business is like they're on Sunday right now. You obviously, with, with Bayless moving on, you got to find new returners. How, how's that competition going? How many guys are you looking at right now? We got several guys, and really, um, one guy has really started to sh um, step out a little bit. And actually, Coach V over at baseball sent him over. And um, this Mike Honcho dude has just been been amazing. But we got a bunch of other guys that are competing for that spot, though. As far as uh, the Leos, I know you had numbers here this spring, but how is that group, Byron Young, Harrison, uh, even Elijah Herring, how they kind of progressed? In Doing a great job. You know, um, Elijah's playing inside. And then, you know, B.Y., Roman, they just keep getting better. They, those guys, they love ball. So the guys that I've been around in the past that have turned out to be phenomenal college and NFL players, that they all have that same characteristic. They love ball. And those ki those guys, shoot, they'd be out there 10 days a week. Is there any cross training going on with, with the linebackers right now, or is it just Leo's and then it's a... Yeah, and I think Coach G does an unbelievable job. I mean, all these guys, inside, outside, they can play a number of different positions and really goes back to it being year two. Just technique-wise, I mean, understanding the scheme and and the majoring in the in the details, you know, there's the technique. You mentioned Chase having Paxton back too. How much does that give you comfort? Know you got a, a tall SEC caliber punter. Oh, it, he's phenomenal. I mean, you look at it. Last year we punted the ball 50 times, and I think we gave up 13 yards return yards, and that's because our guys played their tails off. But it's also because he got five-second hang time. I mean, so. Shoot, I could jog down there and probably cover some of them. Coach, what's been different this spring than, than last year when you guys had just gotten here? Just knowing the players. Like for me, I, I have to understand what every single player on this roster, what their skill set is. And going into it, right now I know 90% of them. We had, you know, we had our mid-year guys, 14 guys come in new, which getting figured out. but. And some of these guys too that have been here have developed, and so their skill sets changing. And it's just understanding where we can put them in, plug them in, special teams wise, and and they can help us. So if you ask this, who are your punt return candidates? Oh, I already told them. You guys can you guys can let them know. Mike Concho. What? Mike Concho. Mike Concho. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's probably the lead, he's probably the lead guy. Yeah, he's probably the lead guy. <laughs> But we got a bunch of guys. We got Jimmy Holiday. We got Trey Flowers. We got Squirrel. You know, we, we got a bunch of guys who are doing some really, really good things. With, with the success those return units had last year, is it, is it easy to sell guys on, on finding and competing for roles to contribute to success there this year? Well, you look at our pro day, I and mean, that was pretty cool. You know, we had um, we had eight special teams coordinators in the NFL come to our pro day, and they came. You know, they came to watch Valus. I came to watch Alante, you know, Javante Payton, Theo, all those guys, because all those guys did some great things on special teams, and that's kind of the standard that, that you know, that we're going to develop around here. What's key for Roman this spring to make sure he finds it more consistently? Well, I mean, he, played, he played a bunch last year. I mean, it was just we felt like we had two starters last year in BY and Roman. So it's just, just continued developing. He's up to 250 pounds. He looks like a trained killer. I mean, he's, he's looking good now. Of, of the 14 newcomers, how many of those do you feel like can be special teams contributors, not just in the return game, but in the coverage game? Really a bunch of them. There's probably, because we have some bigs in there too that can do some different things, but there's probably eight guys in that group 
that, that really we feel we feel really really confident that can help us out. Anything else? Great. Thank you. I hey, appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.